I don't know if y'all thinking what I'm thinking, but bro, I got so many questions. So many questions. Now, I came across this video. Now, I don't know if y'all, I well, I'm pretty sure y'all done heard about it, all right? So basically, a white, uh, let, let's put it in a perspective that everybody else put in, okay? So basically, a white homeowner shot a black teen. White and black don't even mix. So you already know it's been chaos the last couple days. It's been a lot of chaos going on. But, however, apparently they got the grandson on here to speak the truth or to speak about the uh, white homeowner who turns out to be 84 years old. Yeah, that's crazy. But without further ado, man, I told y'all, bro, we finna get back to... Ugh, I can't even talk. I told y'all we finna get back consistent, man. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it, man. Let's get it, let's get it, let's go. Lester told police that he was scared to death of Jarl due to his size. Now, Lester is 84 years old, was released on bond. He is due back in court June 1st. Prosecuting attorney said there was a racial component to this case. Miraculously, Jarl is back at home, recovering from his injuries after three days in the hospital. This is a picture of him taken yesterday with his lawyer. Hold on, before we even finish, I just want to say this. Now... I don't, I don't know, okay, what to even think about this, all right? And I'm going to say it's racist. No, that's one thing I'm not going to do. You know what I'm saying? I feel like anything that happens with a white person and a black person, it is not racist. I promise you it's not, okay? I, they just put that out there, okay? That is all they do. Just racist. That was racist. That was racist. That's all they say, bro. They All they keep doing is pushing out the narrative, bro. That's it. I don't think just because the white man shot a black man does not, I don't think it's racist, bro. Now, I don't know the full story of what happened, okay? I don't know what made him even shoot him. He said he was scared of his size. To me, it looks like Buddy is pretty skinny. I don't think there's nothing to be scared of. I don't know how tall he is, but it doesn't seem like there's nothing to be scared of. He seemed pretty lanky, maybe like about 5'7", maybe 5'8", you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I feel like that's bull crap myself. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to say, oh, this was racist, just because he was white. But let a black man did it to another black man. Are we going to count that as racist? Are we going to count that as that black man hanging on that other black man? No, we're not. So I'm not just going to jump. To, I'm just not going to jump and say, oh, that was racist. Like, no. <laughs> Unless he said out his mouth, I don't like black people. And that's why I shot him. Then you can say, okay, now that's, that's, that's too far. But anyways. Lee Merritt. So joining us now is Clint Ludwig. He is the grandson of Andrew Lester. And we always like to get a perspective on the thinking of someone, someone who knows him, why they might do this. So, Clint, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Doug. Good morning. Good morning to you. So what is your reaction? What was your reaction when you heard that your grandfather shot Ralph Yarl for ringing his doorbell? Uh, I was disgusted. I thought it was terrible. Uh, we, my, myself and my family stand with Ralph Yarl and seeking justice. It's a, this is a horrible tragedy. It never should have happened. Folks are going to want to know why are you speaking out and apparently against your grandfather? Uh, it's the right thing to do. Um, this country happens over and over again where people get away with killing unarmed innocent black people. And it's a, I would have had the same energy for any other case like, like I've had over and over again in this country, like I said, but so it's the right thing to do. Uh, people need to speak out and not make any excuses for this kind of behavior and this uh, violence. So you said for killing innocent black people, the prosecutor in this case has suggested that there was a racial component to it. Do you believe your grandfather is racist? Uh, I believe he holds, holds racist tendencies and beliefs. Why do you say that? Uh, he's just a stock american christian male it's uh the older you know that's just how they are what are you so you telling me just because your grandfather is a christian white male or whatever you say i didn't even bro I, I, bro i'm not even finna like i don't even want to listen to the rest of what you have to say because already you already first of all it's already bull crap bro you know what I'm saying? Number one, us Christians are not racist. That's number one. Uh, we're not homophobic. We're not racist. We're none of that. Okay, that's number one. Now, I'm, I'm speaking for myself. I don't know about any other Christians y'all done came across. I know it's some messed up Christians out here. I know it's some homophobic Christians. I, I know it's some unloving Christians out here. You know, you don't believe in God. They go instantly say, oh, you going to hell. You going to hell. Like, I'm not that type of person. You know what I'm saying? I know it's some messed up people out here. 
But number one, the reason why I say it's already BS to me, because bro, and BS means belief system. Okay, so don't think it means the other thing. You know what I'm saying? It means belief system. I'm just saying. But the reason why I say that is because, bro, who you know speaks out on their own grandfather? Make it make sense. First of all, seeing how did y'all even I'm just trying to figure out how did they even dig this deep to even find find you, my brother? How how did you even get on the scene? I'm, I'm, I'm confused. That man is 84 years old. You say that he hold racist tendencies. You didn't even give a, a, a like you didn't even give a great example. You all you said was Christian, and all I after that all I heard was a mumble. That's that's all I heard. Once you said Christian, I, I, I was you feel me? But after that, bro, you you said a whole bunch of BS. It don't even make logical sense, bro. Make it make sense at least. You know what I'm saying? Make it make sense. This doesn't even make sense. Seriously, bro. I ain't never heard this in my life. Never. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's take it back. Let's take it back for a minute. I just want to take it back a little bit. Because this is this is crazy. This is crazy, y'all. Y'all got y'all popcorn? Y'all got y'all drink? Because, <laughs> boy. I believe he holds, holds racist tendencies. And beliefs why do you say that uh he's just a stock american christian male it's uh the older you know that's just how they are it's uh the conspiracies and weird random racist things they say yeah so and it doesn't make sense but they're just scared now listen you're generalizing uh, a lot here about you said older christian white males <laughs> but what do you mean by that what do you mean they're scared? Talk to me more, please. Uh, yeah, I just uh, I feel like a lot of people of that generation are caught up in this uh, 24-hour news cycle of fear and paranoia perpetuated by some other news stations. And he was fully into that, sit and watch uh, Fox News all day, every day, blaring in his living room. And I think that stuff really kind of reinforces this negative view of, of minority groups and leads people to be a little, it doesn't necessarily lead people to be racist, but it reinforces and galvanizes racist people and their beliefs. Now, apparently, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Clint, you said that your grandfather would say or do things, uh, apparently that you did not subscribe to, um, that caused you to distance yourself from him. Say and do things like what? That's right. Uh, a lot of it was the uh, kind of QAnon level conspiracies about election denying. And then uh, they got really weird with some some Fauci dogs. I really didn't know what that meant. Uh, but I would push back on some of this stuff and he couldn't handle being pushed back on. And at a certain point, we kind of lost touch. And uh, I think it was more of his choice than mine. Did he say or do things that you found offensive about minorities or people of color? Uh, yes, he would say some things. Um, I think he, I can't remember exactly now all that happened, but I know he had something about, I uh, had a really hot take about abortion and how something about black women getting abortions. And I didn't know what he was talking about, but I said, I don't. You don't know what he's talking about, bro, because you're not awake. Okay, let, uh, bro, what you're saying right now is like, bro, all you doing right now is just pushing out, you you're saying things that black people want to hear. That is what you're saying. Bro, you, I don't think you believe the stuff yourself. You, you, um, uh, what do I mean? What do I mean? Like, bro, you don't even know what you mean yourself. Like, bro, seriously, you don't have to push out what, what culture wants you to put out, push out. Be yourself. Be honest. Because right now, it don't seem like you're being honest, bro. I'm going to keep it a buck. It doesn't seem like you're being honest. You talking about Christian and you talk about abortion and you talk. What does any of this have to do with racism? Seriously, these are all different subjects. Christianity, that's a religion. Abortion, that's a whole nother topic. Racism, that is what we're trying to focus on. Was your grandfather racist? Yes, no. What things did he say that was racist? He said he don't like black people. Because, bro, all the other stuff you're saying does not mean that he's racist. Racism to me, 
And it's not even to me. This is the definition of racism. Racism to me is when you don't like a person because of their skin color. You hate on a person because of their skin color. You don't hate on them because you, you don't like them. No, it's just because, oh, they're black, they're white, eh, I'm going to stay away. That is the reason. That's what will make you racist. That's what will make you racist. Not because, oh, I'm a Christian. Not because, oh, I, I don't believe in abortion. Not because of none of this other nonsense you're talking about. What else you going to say? Oh, well, he also loved guns. Huh? Like, seriously, bro, you're not even making sense. I think you just wanted your little five-minute spotlight. I don't know if CNN pays you to get on. I don't know none of that. But seriously, bro, be yourself. Stop trying to push out the narrative that they want you to push out. See, this is what black people want. They want They want to see. This is what they're going to use against your grandfather to keep him away, to keep him locked up. This is the type of stuff they're going to use. They're going to use this stuff. Seriously, the man is 84 years old. I don't, like I said, I don't know the exact story of what happened, who said what, how did it happen? I'm, I'm not, look, I don't know the exact story, but I'm not going to jump to conclusions and say, oh, this was racist. Only because it's a white man and a black male. Uh, I'm sorry, a black teen. Like, seriously, bro. This whole, uh, this whole agenda is ridiculous. It's seriously, it's ridiculous. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play a little bit more. It's eight minutes. I'm going to play a little bit more. I just got to see what the rest of this, what, what do this man got to say? Man. really want to talk to you about this anymore this is racist and it's dumb so let's move on and i, I pushed back and he didn't like that either at the time so listen uh the kansas city star also spoke to your brother your brother's name is daniel ludwig and he said it seems like a bunch of mistakes in a row that resulted in a tragedy i mean a lot of mistakes all the way around unfortunately if you look at the affidavit there were actions taken that caused my grandpa's side uh isn't being reported uh, and he is saying that your grandfather is not racist. He doesn't believe that. He can say that. I think he's running defense a little bit. I don't think he uh, sees him for you know, who he is. Why? Bro, I, bro. <laughs> the most racist people is the people who sit there. Th this is the most racist people. The people who sit there. And I guess they always trying to baby. Not I guess, no. I'm going to say what it is. The people that's the most racist is the people that sit there and try to baby black people. They try to baby us and treat us like we're just some popular this and that. And like, bro, I don't like that. I seriously don't like that. I don't like to be treated as I'm not a human. Like, I don't like to be treated as a toy. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my gosh, you guys music, you guys do this, you guys do that. And like all this other bull crap, bro, I don't want, no. Treat me like you treat any other person you come across. That's not my color. So him sitting there and talking about, well, I guess this is writing a little defense a little bit. And this and that, bro, it shows that you are the real racist one. You are the real racist one. Seriously. I mean, you, you may not see it now, but trust me, black people who's awake, such as, I'm going to just name a couple names. Officer Tatum, Candace Owens, LF, uh, LFR family, and who, whoever else. Those people who is awake will already see that, bro, you're the racist one, for real, for real. But you have black people who's not awake, who's going to be like, oh, yes, he's right, he's this, he's that. But now you're not saying that, bro, you are the real racist. I, I hope all this makes sense, but it's the truth. It's the people who sit there. And they try to justify every single thing. Every single thing. Oh, black people been through so much and they've been through this. And they, they trying to just go with the narrative, bro. That's the most racist people who try to go with the narrative. <clears throat> Democrats. Um, <clears throat> Sorry. I had a little something stuck in my throat. I'm sorry. Anyways, let's finish. Did your grandfather have a gun or, or more weapons in the house? Uh, they were all over. Yes. What do you mean, They. The guns were all over. They were, he had them stashed in some spots and had a big locker full of them. And, but yeah, he was uh, ready to defend his home, as he would say. Considering the, the recent history, I mean, is this a recent history that you found your grandfather? Is that why you pulled away from him? Has he always been this way or is this something new? Um, I feel like he's been pretty conservative for a long time, which is fine and but and feel like feel like in the last five or six years it's really ramped up um he was a huge trump supporter and 
between that and then the, the galvanizing that people have been feeling lately with the politicians and ideologues co-signing you know, violence and domestic violence, uh, domestic terrorism, and even pardoning people who murder other people for differing political beliefs. Uh, I feel like all that stuff has really ramped up his um, his beliefs and radicalized him, radicalized him a little bit. I'm just wondering, cause, because we've been covering these and they're... <clears throat> I'm done. I am done. That, I mean, sir, that dude cannot, bro. I can't listen to somebody who can just lie. Or not, no, not even just a random person, but they're lying on their family. Y'all ever heard the saying, I think it's what, sometimes uh, water is thicker than blood or something like that. Like, or it's something, it's like a saying like that. Like sometimes your friends can be more, you know what I'm saying, more down for you than your own blood, bro. Your own blood. I don't know if y'all ever heard this saying too. Blood don't make us family, but loyalty do. Bro, you're not loyal to you not loyal to your own grandfather. You're lying on this man's name. The things that you're saying is just because he didn't have the same point of views as you. So that that means that he's racist. Bro, Trump was we're not saying Trump was the greatest president of all time. We're not saying that. Us conservatives are not saying that. Okay, us Republicans, whatever you want to name us, bro. It was so many different names, but whatever you want to call us. We're not saying that Trump was the greatest president of the ever like we're not saying that bro but what we are saying politically this man knew exactly what he was doing politically this man knew exactly what he was doing bro he knew what he was doing as a president he didn't need to be president trust me you know what i'm saying but y'all will rather uh, will rather deride an old man who could barely stand up and who stutters over his word and who falls asleep doing conferences y'all would rather deride that man but the man who's trying to help America and be great again, this is the man y'all call racist. Make it make sense. You talking about that he was very conservative and he was very this and he was very that. What do conservative have to do with anything with racism? It's a lot of conservatives, a lot of them, who's not racist. But I'm pretty sure it's some that are racist. Like it's some people on the left who's not racist, but it's a little, but it's, I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a decent amount of them. Who are racist? At the end of the day, bro, don't put a label on somebody and just because they follow this trend or they follow this or they do this or their beliefs is this and then say they're racist. Because then what would you tell me? I'm black. I'm a black man. I'm a black man. What would you tell me, brother? What would you tell me, my brother? I was a Trump supporter. Well, I wasn't a Trump supporter then, but to now that I'm kind of awake, I, I am now. You gonna say that I'm racist? I'm conservative. What you gonna say? I'm racist? Hmm? Me? <laughs> I don't think you'll tell me I'm racist. I think you'll just tell me, oh bro, you're just not woke. You're just not woke. You're right. I'm not woke. That's the it's the difference. I'm not woke. You people need to wake up, bro. Stop pushing out this little racist narrative. Try, try, bro, stop doing that. It, it's making you look very ugly with your little braids or cornrow, whatever. The little hairstyle, yeah. Anyways, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this, bro. I, bro, I swear, blood does not make us family. Loyalty do. Loyalty makes us family, bro. For real. Just by watching this, loyalty makes us family. Because your own blood will, will backstab you in a heartbeat. Anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below. How y'all feel about it? Do y'all feel like this was necessary? What do y'all feel about this video? I gave my true, honest thoughts on this video, bro. This is my first time watching it, and bro... I'm in disbelief. I'm in disbelief that somebody grandson could actually do this to them. Backstab you, coming to my house, doing all this stuff, man. Oh, Lord, if I wasn't a Christian, I would have said some things right now. But without further ado, man, I love y'all. I thank y'all for watching. I told y'all we back being consistent, baby. Man, stay tuned. Stay tuned for the rest of this year. We got some big plans coming on. 100K, road to 100K. Without further ado, it's been your boy, The Pan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.